Welcome back to my channel, Truth and Transparency with Audrey B. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can see all my videos when I upload them. Remember to like and leave a comment and also to share. Let's get into the video. Hey everybody, welcome back to Truth and Transparency with Audrey B. Yo, um, really quick, as while it's on my mind, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about um just giving God access to your heart. Um, it's really been like stuck with me this past week from when I first heard it. Um it just spoke to me and it's just been like something that I've been praying about for myself, for my friends, for my family, my loved ones. Um, because a lot of times we want God to do things in our lives. We want God to make moves. We want um, him to, you know, do things for us, but we don't truly open ourselves up or open our hearts up to receive the things that he's trying to give us. And a lot of times we'd be like, um, like how on the memes, it'll be like, you know, God, give me an answer for this. God, I, can you, is this the person for me? God, is this the right opportunity for me? And then we, he answers us, but it is not necessarily in our, the way that we think that it should. And it's like that one meme where the guy is just like, what are you sure and it's like um I just I'm just feeling a type of way today because I've just constantly just been thinking about times where I've wanted stuff to happen or I wanted God to come through for me but it was like I wasn't seeking out um time and making room for him in my life or giving him total access just because of um just because I thought that, you know, I knew a little bit more or I was, you know, or he was just going to um, do what I say, sort of, kind of. Because, you know, like we sometimes use God like he's a genie um, and, and make wishes or pray and, you know, stuff like that. So um, I just wanted to get on her and to remind everybody that... Um, God is, is listening. He understands our needs and he understands our desires. And we have to come to the realization that um, when we pray to God, we have to understand that he's just, he's going to give us the desires of our hearts as long as it's according to his will that he has for us. And a lot of times we like, well, why hasn't this happened yet? Why hasn't this happened yet? And a lot of times it is because there's a set time for God to to bless you with those things. And in the process, he's trying to like build character and, and, and make sure that, you know, you're patient with him and that you trust him through the process and, you know, waiting on him, like I said in the last video. But um, another thing is just because it's not what he wants for us. And I know that that's uncomfortable. I know that's frustrating. I know that it's just like, ugh. But it's 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 real. And again, like I said, it's something that I'm dealing with and I'm trying to like process right now. Um, and just I just hearing, just giving God access to your heart so that He can speak to you, so that He can um, heal some things inside of you, giving Him access so that. Um, it could just be y'all, you know, one-on-one -on -one time so you can truly hear from him, like I said, in, in direction and in making those, um, wise decisions. And, um, you know, we always, we tend to blame God or we tend to blame the devil for stuff that we allow ourselves to get in. Um, and it's not always, it's not it's not always them. It's just, you know, the things that, that we want to do, the things that we do in our own flesh, the things that we desire. Um, again, like that's not God's plan for us. And we think that we know best. Um, so we just make those decisions anyway, and we just go for it. And then we have to deal with those consequences. And 
I've dealt with a lot of those and I'm sure all of you guys have as well. But the main thing is just to, um, when you allow yourself to go against what God wants for you or the best that he has for you, you have to understand that he's going to allow you to, to not, I don't want to say suffer the consequences, but he's going to allow you to see like, Hey, this is why you need me to lead you, to guide you because I know what I'm doing. As I've said plenty of times in these videos, he knows the plans he has for you and they're good. Um, and a lot of times when we go against what is best for us, it hinders our growth. It hinders our development, you know, making wrong, wrong decisions as far as like handling your finances. Sometimes even where you go to school, where you work, um, the spouses that you pick, it's just like, you're trying so hard to do it all on your own. And you're trying so hard to be like, well, this is what I want. What, or what do we call them? Um, preferences. And it's just like a lot of times the things that we want hinder us from the good that God is trying to bring into our life. And then as I've stated before, like we don't allow, we think we know it all. And then we don't allow what God's trying to bring to us. Um, um, to come in because one, we're not spending time and we're not giving him access to our hearts. And then we're thinking like, um, the people around us don't know nothing. The people around us are just talking. Um, and we don't, um, truly realize, um, like, as I said in the last video that God uses people, um, in our lives and sometimes even strangers to speak to us, to show us that he's listening and he's trying to bring you, you know, what it is that you need. But because we get in our heads or we get stuck in our minds or our preferences or what we want and, and we don't got time for nobody else, like we miss out on those things. And I'm just trying to, um, just trying to encourage y'all to just, to trust, to wait to stay in the process and in all of that to give God access daily to to you to your heart and and to take what he's doing and saying and not just let it go in one end out the other um I hope I'm making sense it's just I I recently had a, a couple of conversations with people and it's just like you know I'm not trying to be uh holier than thou or I'm not trying to um preach to them to death or act like I got it all together because I don't and I, and I I see how sometimes people take those things the wrong way because they don't want to be told anything or they don't want they don't want to accept the truth and one thing that I know that I had to get um to understand was you have to be okay with people not listening or you have to be okay with people not accepting it. You can't just beat people over the head with things. You have to give them time and you have to continue to pray for them. Like you have to continue to trust that even though they don't understand it right now that they will later and that they will learn to give God access to every single area in their life so that he can do the work that in them and through them that he needs to be done so that he can open their eyes to see him and, and open their ears to hear him and just truly, truly um, transform them from the inside out. And I have to go through that daily. I have to understand that daily. I can't, you know, be on this wishy-washy train of, I trust you, Lord, but I'm still going to do it my way. Or I trust you, Lord. Um, but it's taking too long, so let me do it my way. I have to truly, truly, truly understand and trust that when I pray, God hears me. When I when I cry, God God understands my tears. When I when I cry out to Him, when I don't understand it, when the process of waiting gets entirely too too much sometimes and too overwhelming and frustrating, that He He knows what He's doing, and just to continue to to allow Him access to me so that He can comfort me, He can strengthen me, He can encourage me through the Word or through a song that comes on or, you know, send me somebody just to continue to help me to keep pushing. And I pray God that, that, that what I, what I'm doing in these videos, um, and on this channel is doing that because I don't want anybody that I'm around or anybody that I'm, you know, friends with or, you know, whatever. I don't want anybody to to be down i don't want anybody to be discouraged and a lot of times like i said 
we try to do so much in our own flesh and we try to, you know, just go through our own desires and, and try to do everything that we want to do. And we're forgetting to open our hearts to God. Like Yolanda Adams says, like, open up, open up our hearts to him, show and show us how to do things his way because we don't want to keep making the same mistakes over and over again. And a lot of people are, a lot of people are settling. A lot of people are just like giving up. Um, because, you know, the pandemic or because stuff isn't going the way that they plan or they get anxious or overwhelmed and they just like, man, forget it. I'm just going to do it anyway. And I just don't want the, my loved ones or, or anyone who watches this video to stay in that constant state of despair and de and defeat. And, and just to understand that the only way that God is going to be able to help you and heal you and strengthen you is if you give him access. And one of the ways that I know that I know that I know that I, that God is, is truly act, um, how I'm truly allowing God to access me is in my heart is through prayer. Um, that is one of the, the biggest things that take me out of my funks or take me out of just constantly replaying like scenarios in my head or just over being overwhelmed with thoughts. I pray. And, um, when I pray, I, I just speak to God, like I will be speaking to somebody else. Like, because like I said, he understands our groans, our tears, our sighs. He understands where we're coming from. He understands our heart and he searches our hearts. Um, and knows the intentions behind our prayers. He knows the intentions behind the things that we do and say, and, and, and it allows him to, to, to just come in and just, like I said before, just use the Holy Spirit to comfort us and just, and, and speak to us when we truly, truly let him in. And, um, in Matthew six and six, it says, but when you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you and pray to your father in private. Then your father who sees everything will reward you. And I, I do this <laughs> on a daily. Sometimes I'll just zone out and start praying. I've prayed myself to sleep plenty of times. I've woke up in the middle of the night, you know, when you can't sleep and you toss it and turn and that's God trying to gain access there. So pray then, or I'll just say, God, speak to me what it is that you need me to, um, to know or what are you trying to say to me and just a few nights ago that happened and I was just like okay well I don't know what it is that God's trying to tell me or get me to see so I I just opened my phone and I got on my devotional bible app and it was um again like I said one of the most quoted scriptures and one of my favorites um about waiting on the Lord and he'll renew your strength and then um, I had a dream and I remember hearing some God or a voice and it just said Mark 11, 11. So I was just like, why? No, nah, I'm just going to keep on going to sleep. I'm just going to keep on sleeping. I'm already having a hard time. But then every time that I would like get up and like switch a position in the bed, it would be like Mark 11, Mark 11, 11. And so I was just like, okay, what, what, what? <laughs> so I opened it and the scripture was, um, just about when God was, um, I guess walking with the disciples and he saw like a fig tree and then he spoke to the fig tree and said that it would wither up and never bear fruit again. And then, um, they went on about their way and then come back and there was a disciple that looked at that same fig tree and was just like, it withered up basically like it really did what you said it was going to do Jesus. And like, Jesus was like, um, uh, you know, when you pray and you have faith, you too can do things like these and you can pray and, and you can, um, and the, the mountains can, can be moved as long as you have faith. And I'm just paraphrasing. I really don't know word for word, but I was just like, Oh my gosh. Cause again, like I said in the last video, I'm, I'm waiting on some things that I've been praying and trusting and, and fasting and just trying to just allow just, God to know, like, I trust you and just be patient. And in those two scriptures, it was just like a reminder, like I said, like to continue to wait on him. And as you wait in the process, be strengthened. And then also to continue to pray. And when you pray, believe and have faith that what you pray for is going to come to pass and understand that the time that you spend, um, 
complaining ain't going to do nothing. The time you spend worrying is not going to do nothing. But the more that you allow God to get, get access to you, the more that you um, open up your heart and your mind to him to let what he's trying to give you in, the better off you're going to feel. And um, I just want everybody to just be encouraged today, to just be um, reminded today that the more that you open up your heart, the more that you open up your life, the more that you give God your time, the the more, the better off you're going to feel, the less um, heavy it will feel that the, the weight of the world is on your shoulders and, and allow people who you know walk with God on a daily basis or who are in, who is in the process of, you know, living Christ like, allow them to, to talk to you without state being in a state of offense or defense all the time. Allow people to, to encourage you and give you a word, even if you don't understand it or you don't truly or fully you know, um, understand how, how God uses people to bless you as well. Don't, don't push it away. Don't, don't reject it because those are, those are, those are moments where, where God is trying to speak to you the most. And I, I just pray that, um, as you give God access and, and allow him to, um, to work on you that you and work on your heart that you'll start to see um the changes in you you'll start to um see life through kingdom's lens and the perspective of the kingdom and the way that God ha has has originally intended for you to see it i pray that you will um will know that he wants the best for you and those times of frustration, those times of, you know, feeling as though it'll never end. That's that's when you are supposed to pray, when you are supposed to go alone in your room or write prayers down in your journal, go in your closet, make a prayer closet. I have two and sit in there and just and just talk to him because he is there to help you. He understands what you're going through. He understands what you were going to go through before you did. Um, but he, even though he knows those things, he wants you to open up your mouth and invite him in that particular situation so that you can, so that he can speak and so that you can let go of those things and allow him to take control over it. And, um, and just understand that, that he wants the best for you and you have to get away from just staying in that constant state of defeat or settling like, Learn from your mistakes. Don't allow your mistakes to to just make you feel like, well, it's always this. I'm used to disappointment. I'm used to being discouraged. I'm used to stuff not going my way. No, don't allow your mistakes to to define you. Learn from them and do better. I had to learn this. I'm still learning that too because we can can get down on ourselves and be like, oh, I should have did this. I wish I would have known this back then. I could have did this better. Take what you know now and move forward. Don't keep making those same mistakes over and over again or staying around people who will cause you to make those same mistakes over and over again or staying in environments and atmospheres and just around people who are okay, like I say all the time, with just being settled, just being okay with being lukewarm, okay with mixing what the world does and what um uh the kingdom life is supposed to be like and thinking like I'm comfortable in my sin, I don't have to change. No, you have to get to a point in your life where you choose a side. <laughs> you choose a side and I pray that you will choose kingdom side and no longer be, you know, conflicted or feel like con um condemned because of mistakes you made in your past or regret i pray that you will just prioritize time with god and give him your heart so that he alone can can heal you and make you whole like you cannot be in um, we all have to be, which, which I heard a pastor say, I think last week, like there has to be a season in your life where you, um, it's just you and God. And a lot of times people, um, look to other things or other people to cure their hearts or holes in their hearts or make them less, not feel lonely anymore. Um, but there has to be a time free of all distractions where you allow God to work on you so that 
the access that you give him so that the the healing that takes place the 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 comfort and the strength that takes place will help you go forward and no longer keep you stuck or no longer make you keep going back to stuff that you're trying to get out of and that comes from relate that goes from relationships that goes from jobs like i said that goes from just making wise decisions like you cannot say that you want to be different or that god is working on you and you don't change you're still doing the same stuff. You can't say that God is working on you. You're giving God time. You're giving God access. And you're still around the same group of people who are bringing you drama, being petty, causing you stress, bringing you down, making you spaz out or blue out on people or react in ungodly ways, making you compromise yourself, your morals, <laughs> Your integrity, your character, making you act out of who you know you are and who your family and friends and most importantly, God knows you are. You cannot say that you give access to God and you giving him your time and you're not changing. There has to be a time where it's you alone and he's working on you and he's working on your heart because whatever is in your heart is going to flow out of your mouth. However you feel is what you're going to speak. Whatever you, you feel inside of here is, is how you're going to view the world. And I pray that you understand because I've been there before. And I thank God that I know the difference now. The The moment that I gave God my the access to, to my heart to rehabilitate it, to change it, to fix it, to fill the voids and the holes in it, the better, the, the more knowledge he gave me, revelate, more revelation he's given me. The way the way that he's opened my eyes just to see the world and myself differently is a is a joy and, and just a, a feeling that I cannot describe. And I pray that you don't allow what you've done or what people are doing right now in your life or just what what you think you're not gonna be able to do, um affect your growth or hinder your development because he has so much in store for you but if you're just so caught up in the wrong things if you're so caught up in well i don't i'm too busy my kids is it need me my my husband needs me my boyfriend needs me my girlfriend needs me my my job needs me god needs you too he's not you you have to have him in, in order for you to to be able to to be there for everybody else. He's the only person that's going to be able to help you. He's the only person that's going to be able to make you complete, to make you whole, so that you can be be strong, so that you can combat the lies in your head, so that you can just keep going. You know, and um, I just I I there's another scripture, James four and eight that says, "Come close to God, and He will come close to you." Wash your hands, you sinners. And purify your hearts, for your loyalty has been divided between God and the world. Don't let your loyalty be defi divided between God and the world any longer after today. Seek him first. Seek his faith. Seek his kingdom. Seek his righteousness. Spend time with him. Prioritize time with him. Give him your heart. Give him access to your heart. Give him access to your mind. Give him access to, to your whole being so that he can do what it is inside of you that needs to be done so that you can go out in this earth and, and walk in your purpose and walk in your destiny. Don't allow, like I said before, your, your decisions in the past, the mistakes that you made, the things that people have said to you or done to you or the things that you may have done or said to other people to define who you are and hinder your development and hinder what God is trying to bring to you. Let that stuff go. Let them people go. Let God interrupt your life by separating you from the things of the world, separating you from the desires and the mindsets and the attachments and the behaviors and the things that you're so used to so that he can, can just work on you free you from those things, deliver you from those things, and then heal you whole, wholly, solely. You can't heal yourself. The people that you're around can't heal you. They can't heal your loneliness. They can't heal your stress. They can't heal your, um, your, your, your depression. They can't, they, they can't do anything. God is the only one that can do it. He's the way he's the truth. He's the life. And I hope that you guys understand that and remember that. 
that he's the only one that can truly fully change you from the inside out to transform you the way you think, the way you behave, the way you act so that you and him can be one can be whole so that y'all so that you can 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 walk this earth the way that he originally intended for you to and don't allow the enemy to lie to you and tell you you're not enough that tell you to to that you've done too much because nothing can separate you from him don't allow yourself to think that you have to doubt yourself or you're not good enough for certain people or you messed up too many times so god can't forgive you or nobody else can forgive you god Regardless of people forgive you or not, God is not like man. He forgives. As long as you truly, truly humble yourself before him and turn away from whatever it is that you've done, turn away from those sins and repent. He, he, he loves you. He's going to, he's, he's going to be there for you. Even when nobody else is, he's going to allow you to be strengthened. He's going to take all the unnecessary things out of you and, and pour into you the things that, that of good, the things that are, that are, that are like him, the things that will cause you to make wise decisions, godly decisions in this earth. And people get so afraid of that because it's uncomfortable. It's, and I understand it because like I said, I'm in it now and I've been in, in it plenty of times before, but it's necessary. And as long as you pray, as long as you communicate with God, he understands. Even if you sit before him like I've had to do plenty of time is just cry. He understands every single tear that comes out of your eyes, y'all. And I just want, I just hopped on here because it's just, like I said, it's just been on my heart. Give him access, give him access, give him access. Because as soon as you do, he's going to open up your world to so many blessings, so much favor, so much more things that he has in store for you. But unless, but, but until you do that. You're going to keep on going through. You're going to keep on doing it. Why Why waste time going through unnecessary stuff when you can give it all over to God today? Where you can repent, where you can surrender, where you can say, God, please take care of me. Even if you got to break up with that person. Even if you got to quit that job because it's too much. Even if you got to leave where you live to go be with some, like, like live somewhere else, sleep on somebody's couch or floor. Even if you got to, uh, you know, go get, um, help from somebody. He's going to make a way for you. He's going to make it possible, but you have to give him access. No, no matter how uncomfortable, how uncertain, no matter what people say or how they treat you, you have to make the decision today to stop, to stop worrying, to stop doubting, to stop playing one minute I'm all about God and the next minute I'm in the world doing whatever it is I want to do. Or one minute I'm all about God and but I can't take criticism or I can't take the truth or I got to stay in this constant state of defense and offensiveness and pride because I don't want such and such to tell me nothing because he or she ain't perfect either. So how can they tell me anything? Again, those th those people who who you least expect, who truly love God and who truly love you, aren't talking just to be talking. They're going through the same thing, or they've been through the same thing, and they're truly, truly trying to help you. So don't reject people. Don't reject people because God is trying to get to you through them. I hope y'all understand that and believe that. I didn't understand that a uh, plenty of times. I don't know. They tell me nothing. Oh, that ain't gonna help me. With my problem today. And now that I look back. It's just like. Who did I think I was? Pride is will kill you. Like seriously. Don't be too too up here. To where you cannot take. Constructive criticism. Or the truth from those people. Who know you and love you. And and again. give Giving access to, to their their help. And giving access, access to God. Is the one way. That we're going to be able to make it. Because, again, this world is full of evil, chaos, and, and drama, and just people don't care no more. People don't, um, people just are basically in it for themselves. They don't care about authority. They don't care about their neighbor. They, it's just so much. And I'm not even that old. I'm about to be 33 in a week. And 
the the changes that I see in people in this world is scary. But again, I I know that I at this time am giving all that I have to God because He's the only one that's going to allow me and 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 prayerfully you when you give Him access and give Him your all. To He's the only one that's going to allow us to make it through, and um, I just pray that um, you continue to pray. You don't continue to to live out of your flesh or try to do stuff on your own because it can't. And every time you do, it's not going to work. And I feel like there's somebody that may be watching that God is really pulling at your heart and, and trying to interrupt your life and show you some things about people that you are around or that you're in a relational context with or people that um, that you call your friends or sometimes even family that you have to get away from in order for God to truly be, um, speak to you, to truly work on your heart, to truly work on your, your mind, to truly help you to, to rid yourself of the things that you've done in the, in, in the world and all that stuff so that he can truly shape and mold you into who he's, he's trying to get you to be, who he's calling you to be. And I just want you to remember 10 things about God 10 things that he's there for you he loves you he believes in you he will not fail you he will always be with you wherever you go he will always provide for you he will bless you he will give you rest he will strengthen you and he will answer you but the only way that you'll be able to hear those answers and understand those answers when he does is to pray, to give him access to your heart, to let him in, and to do your best to trust in him and wait on him. I love y'all. Remember to choose joy, choose peace, choose love. Pray y'all. Keep the faith. Stay in the faith. Stand firm in your faith. Because Satan will try to come and sift you like wheat. But I pray, I pray that y'all will stay in the faith, that y'all will wait, that y'all will understand that God is the only one who can heal you, who can help you, who can save you, who can fix your heart. Bye, y'all.